All right, so we are expecting yet another busy day at the state capitol as we get ready for day two of suspended Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton's impeachment trial, which is supposed to start in just a few hours at 830. Now today we will hear testimony from more witnesses. Now you might remember that Paxton is on trial for 16 of 20 articles of impeachment. He pled not guilty to all of them on the first day of this historic trial. And a little after, well, Paxton, he tweeted a message thanking all his supporters. Now, Jason Wheeler, he was at the state capitol all day. He tells us everything that went down. Are you a rhino? Am I a rhino? As the first witness took the stand, the prosecution made clear he's not a Republican in name only. I'm certainly far from right of center. Um, I was nominated by President Trump to be a federal judge. I would describe myself as an evangelical Christian. I believe in the rule of law and I believe in con conservative policies. This was the top deputy Ken Paxton had personally recruited and hired, who for years loved the boss he worked for, he says, until he and his colleagues kept seeing what prosecutors call of Mr. Paxton's slow creep of corruption. Even then, Jeff Mateer says he tried to help guide Paxton. I urged him not to have any further dealings with Nate Paul. But eventually, Paxton. prosecutors say it got to be too much. That in an effort to help a political donor friend named Nate Paul, Ken Paxton repeatedly misused his office. Mr. Paxton turned the keys of the Office of Attorney General over to Nate Paul. Mateer ended up resigning and with seven other members of Paxton's management team reported Paxton's actions to law enforcement. Even still, the defense of the now suspended AG says those employees were rogue and wrong. Ken Paxton gave nothing of significance to Nate Paul. Nate Paul received nothing of significance from Ken Paxton. Ken Paxton did get some good news on day one of the trial. He can't be forced to testify as he has tried for 16 impeachment articles, each of which he pleaded through an attorney. Pleads not guilty. Ken Paxton pleads not guilty. Pleads not guilty. The bad news for Paxton, though, his multiple motions to exclude evidence or throw out charges were shot down by overwhelming and bipartisan votes. No, nay. No. In Austin, I'm Jason Wheeler. All right, so you want to remember to stay with us all day long as we bring you the latest from Austin on air. And of course, on our website, look at this. We have it all broke down for you. You can also get it on the free six news app. I know I got several alerts from there.